channel. Today I'm here with my beautiful model Haley and we're going to talk about doing makeup on skin with freckles. So Haley has beautiful freckles and I love them and I feel like um, the hard thing to do with freckles, um, we love them, we usually want them to show for people that have freckles, um, but it's kind of hard if you also want to wear foundation. I have other tutorials on my channels with freckles and a lot of times what I love to do is just really hydrate the skin and then conceal, but I want to do a tutorial today for you guys if you do want a little more coverage, do you want to wear foundation and conceal some things, but you do want your freckles to show through. And we're also going to talk about, we're going to do a full face on Haley, so we're also going to talk about working with different tones and things like that. But what I'm going to start with is I am going to prep her skin. I hydrated her. I sprayed some Fix Plus on her. And now I'm going to use, this is called Water Balm. This is a moisturizer that I love that I've used a lot on my channel. I use this on almost everybody. Um, so we are going to do this on her today. Um, I'm going to apply it with a brush. So this is a really great lightweight moisturizer that provides a lot of hydration and it also has a really nice um, finish. It's not sticky, it's not thick, and so this will be fantastic um, as primer, actually, so I'm not gonna use a primer on Haley. So I like to make sure um, on any client, but especially people with freckles, I like their skin to be very, very well prepped um, because I am gonna be using more of a light coverage foundation so it can show through. So I'm gonna put that in you use your hands, I'm using a synthetic brush. And I will link this product for you guys. This really is a great one. It works on all skin types. I love how hydrating it is, um, but also that it's so lightweight. A lot of moisturizers I've worked with before that provide a lot of hydration. You also just have to be careful because it will leave a little bit of film or it will be sticky or something like that. So this one I love. So we're gonna let that go ahead and sink in and then we're gonna work on her eyes and we'll come back. So for Haley, um, she has, a lot of people with freckles have more warm, warm undertones, they'll have like a little bit of red in her hair. And she, is this your natural color? Yeah. So she does have a little bit of like those caramely warm tones, but she also is maybe more on the cool side. Like if you look at her eyes, they're like a crystal blue, like a very, like a cool, light, true blue. So we're gonna do um, actually some cool tones on her today. I earlier, last week, I did a tutorial on blue eyes and we played with oranges and warm tones to pull those out. So I'm gonna show you how you can use cool tones today to play with blue eyes. So we are going to go in, this is, this is a, a mauve color, it has like a purple base. Go ahead and close for me. So I'm just gonna put this in her crease and work with that. So um, on, on people with freckles, if you do have those warm undertones, you're welcome to use warm shadows. I just wanted to show you more so I kind of want to talk about the things that are hard to do with freckles. Like sometimes it's hard to get a foundation where the, the freckles peek through, but you get coverage. And then sometimes it's hard to choose cool tones. So we're going to be doing that today. I'm just working this in her crease, and I don't want to do, I'm going to go pretty natural on Haley today. I'm not going to do um, a very dramatic eye. Do you wear eyeshadow on Haley? Um, sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah. What do you like? Um, just like a shimmery one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like one shade you kind of mm -hmm. put on the shimmer? Yeah. That's so pretty. <laughs> We are live, so if you guys are hanging out in the chat, feel free to drop your questions, say hello, let us know how you're doing. So I'm just going to work this in the crease very, very lightly. And then this is, this is like a, just a nude color. I think it's an Anastasia color. I'm just going to put this over the lid. And I'm going to keep building up the crease. I'm going in pretty light with it, and it does tend to be a little bit more sheer. So I'm going to add a second layer. And just buff that out a little bit. And I bring it up pretty high. I wanted the appearance to be more of like a wash of color on Haley versus like a harsh gradient with a lot of depth to it. So 
this is a fun color, um, the kind of purpley mauvey, because you could use some warmer tones too if you want. But it also plays really pretty with the cool tone. So you can see the, the purple base in that shadow really makes your blue eyes pop, which is really pretty. So I'm going to go in now with a, with like a little smudgy brush. And we are going to do that same color, but now I'm really going to pack it on. Go ahead and close. So I'm going to get this right near her lash line, and we're really going to pack this on and get a lot of color pay off that way. This is a good thing to do if you're working with a shadow that tends to go on a little bit more sheer. If you use a flat brush and pack it on, it'll go on darker for you. So I'm just darkening up near the lash line. Do you wear mascara, Haley? Um, no. No, you, you have like the best lashes. <laughs> They're you. so thick. I was going to ask you, because Haley plays water polo, and I was going to ask you if you know a good like, waterproof mascara. No. <laughs> you don't wear any. A lot of girls wear mascara water polo, and then after they get out of the pool, it's just like all over their face. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> so maybe there is no water polo with standing yeah. mascara that we have found yet. Yeah. That's pretty funny. All of them, anyone that wears mascara, it's like... Yeah, yeah. it's like all the way down the Oh no. That's really funny. <laughs> it's like, what do you do, you know? Just know. don't wear it? I guess you want to wear it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to go in with like a champagne tone color. So this is a, um, like a nude tone. Like it's a light shimmer. Go ahead and close. It has a pink undertone. So this is going to play in with the cool tones. And we're going to give... Haley, some shimmer. I should have pulled out my glitters. We should have done like a little bit of glitter, but we'll keep the eye pretty simple today so that we can get into talking about her freckles when we do her foundation. Okay, for her eyeshadow, or eyeliner, I'm sorry. I really like how thick and dark Haley's lashes are. Um, I want the eye to be a little bit softer, so I'm actually I'm not going to do liner today. I am just going to do an eyeshadow. We're going to go in again with a purple eyeshadow, like a really dark purple, and I'm going to do an eyeliner with an uh, angled brush. All right, so I have an angled brush. I'm going to go in with like a dark purple, and we are just going to press this. Go ahead and close for me. We're just going to press it right in her lash line. Have you ever done this, Haley? Um, no. Done. You probably don't wear a liner. No, not. Yeah. I've worn it like one to two. This is fun because it looks really natural. Like when you want to do more makeup or get into more makeup, it's fun to do things like this that are like soft. Yeah. That's cute. And you can't mess it up. Like when you're doing the eyeshadow liner, it's like so easy. You're not going to mm -hmm. like, I don't know. Not that you would mess it up, but if you're not used to wearing it, it's way easy peasy. And this looks good on everybody. This is just like steps that I love for a really natural eye. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and open. Super pretty. Okay, now let's curl her lashes, add a little bit of mascara, and then we'll get on to the face so you guys can see how I work with freckles. Have you ever curled your lashes? No, never. Okay, first time. <laughs> it feels kind of weird. I'm going to have you look forward. All right, does that pinch at all? No. Okay, this please. Is that all right? Yep. You're doing great. You're not <laughs> having this done. Okay, does that pinch at all? Nope. Good. I'm going to curl this one a little bit more since you did so good. <laughs> If you guys have like long, thick lashes like Haley, for sure try an eyelash curler because you are blessed with amazing lashes and the curler will make it look like, it'll just open up your eyes more. It'll give more drama. All right, so we're gonna go in. This is just a regular black mask mascara. It's the Too Faced one. Okay, look down for me. I may, I put fake lashes on everybody, but I might not do them on you, Haley. <laughs> your lashes are just so amazing. I just think they're fun, and I love showing them. I, because I tend to stick to, like, 
the same couple pairs of lashes? Yes and no. So I have a couple like go-tos that I like and then I'll make custom lashes with like the individuals and then I'll try some new ones. But I, there are a couple of shapes of lashes that I really like and I like to use the same ones on my channel just so that people watching can see what they look like on different people. But Haley's lashes are just too good. <laughs> they look forever for me. Yeah, so pretty. When you do your mascara, does it get like on your eyelid and stuff like that? Sometimes, yeah. My sister has like really nice lashes like you, like they're really thick and long. And she wears mascara, but she has to do her mascara before anything because she gets it. Probably like your water polo friends after a game. That's like her doing her makeup. It gets like everywhere. Because <laughs> it's how she, but her lashes look so good. So it's kind of like her method. Yeah. Like she puts it on and she'll like paint them on her lid to get them to stand up. And then it dries and then she washes everything off. That's Go ahead and look up. Yeah, it's funny. It's so cute to watch her do it. But it's really funny. For Christmas I bought her like an eyeshadow shield. They have like oh. these plastic shields and you hold it and you do your mascara on top of it. I've actually seen something like that before. Yeah, yeah. they're great. She doesn't use it, but she <laughs> Her method just works for her. But yeah. she needs like for sure eye makeup remover, Q-tips like to remove it. We were on a trip once and I feel like she forgot. Sometimes she'll use lotion, but she forgot like her removal items. So she did oh, her no. makeup and she's like, um, help. <laughs> I got you. I brought the things. Okay, look up for me. I'm for sure gonna put mascara on Haley's bottom lashes too because how could you not? They're like as long as your top. I almost feel like it's even better than having amazing top lashes. It's having amazing bottom ones because the top you can throw on fake mm -hmm. lashes, whatever. But the bottoms, <laughs> you can throw on fake lashes, but. It's not as comfortable and it doesn't look as natural. So, okay. So let's move on. Let's move on to the skin. Um, I'm just gonna clean up under her eye a little bit. She didn't really have much fallout because we went so natural, but since I did so many layers of mascara, it did flake a little bit. I have just like, since I almost do fake lashes on everybody, I just buy the universal disposable ones. They're, they're not really big, but they're not tiny. But I feel like for when I do people like Haley, when we're just doing mascara, I would love that I should wear some tiny little ones. Good. Okay, so for, for her foundation, um, we're gonna use Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD foundation. What I like about this is it's very, very buildable. I would say it's probably more of a medium coverage, um, but if we do, if we start with a very, very light layer on Haley today, we can get um, a very sheer wash of color, which is what I would like. So we're going to do, Haley is, I would say you're probably more of a cool undertone. She has more pink in her skin, but a lot of people carry more redness in their face, and so I'm going to mix a cool tone and a neutral tone foundation to uh, match just kind of even everything up and I'm gonna do it with a kabuki brush this is actually the same one um, that I applied her moisturizer with which is okay because another thing you can do is you can shear out your foundation with the water bomb so with the moisturizer we put on at the beginning you can shear it out which is really great um, so sometimes I'll just mix it in. I'm just like, there's a little bit left on the brush. That's okay with me. I don't want to mix it in because like I said, I want to show you guys a, like a medium tone coverage where your freckles still show through. I'm going to say hello to you guys in the chat. Oh, hello. So excited to see how to work with freckles. I love them, but don't know how to put makeup on them. Yay. Well, you're going to learn today. Hi, Julie. Hi, Jen. Your volume seems far away, but better than last week. Oh, maybe we should actually push the mic closer. We had we rearranged the room. My husband filmed something in here last week. Um, such a pretty young woman. Yes, she is. Cute Haley. Hi, Tammy. Hi, MRJXX. Her eye color. Heart, heart. She looks gorgeous. I know. Haley. <laughs> such pretty eyes. Blue eyes are fun to work with. Okay. So this is a really great, this is good coverage for me right now. So I'm just going to stand back 
make sure it's even, and then I'm going to spot conceal in certain areas. So stand back. I like to go down the neck a little bit, usually. So one area that's kind of uh, tricky with freckles, which we'll get into, is actually concealing the under eye because, um, I mean, Haley doesn't really have this problem, but a lot of people have, you know, like dark circles and stuff like that that are that we're covering. So what's difficult is to go in with a, like a really full coverage under eye concealer and then have your freckles showing everywhere else. It's going to look a little unnatural, so I'm going to show you guys some tips with Haley. Okay. So that is looking really good. I love the way it looks. I love that she's getting a little bit of coverage if she was to be going to a dance or getting her photos taken and she wants to like look made up. This is a great base for that with her freckles still showing. So let's go in. We're going to go in with some pot concealers today. I'm going to pull two shades out. She's probably this one. One's a little bit lighter. So you want to try you want to try to match the skin tone with your pot concealers if you can. And you always want to depot your creams. If you're working on somebody else. So I'm just putting a little bit in there. That's my darker color. This is my lighter color. And we'll see which one we like on Haley today. So if um, if these were your own pots, I love these pot cream concealers. If it was your own, you were only going to use it on yourself and you wanted to dip your brush into it before you use it, you could, but I actually still recommend maybe scraping it out first if you want to. It prolongs the life of your product. It keeps it from drying out because you're not mixing any of your skin's oils or things like that. It just keeps it clean. Even though that sounds counterintuitive, if you're putting your skin's oils in it, it shouldn't dry it out, but I, I feel like it does. It changes the consistency. So just my thoughts on it. So I'm going to use, I'm going to go in with this brush. I really like a synthetic dome brush. Um, let's go in, let's go in with this one. This is the darker one. And I'm just going to conceal, just spot conceal some areas on her face. And you don't wear foundation. Did I ask you if you wear foundation ever? Um, not a lot, but I wear it sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about your friends? Do you, most of your friends not wear makeup? Um, some of them wear makeup, but yeah, most of them wear makeup. To school mostly, and then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And makeup is fun. <laughs> I feel like there's probably more like people your age wearing it younger because of YouTube and Instagram. It's like you oh, yeah. see it more. Like, yeah, my friends like to watch makeup tutorials on YouTube and like to yeah. wear their makeup like that to school. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of makeup? Like Sometimes heavy, really? a lot of makeup. <laughs> okay, this is, so this is a product by Becca. I like the coverage her face has right now. I might do a little bit more around her nose, but this is by Becca. This is a brightening concealer. So we're just going to do a little bit of this on her inner eye um, just to show you what I like to do if someone did have dark circles around their eyes, but first I'm going to give a little bit more coverage to the nose. Okay, so now we're going to go in with this brightener. Let's use like a little bitty brush. So we're just going to use a little dumb brush and we're just going to go in there and brighten things up a little bit. This has um, a peach undertone. This is the one for light skin. They have medium and dark. They only have the three shades, but it's because, I think, at last time I checked, this is Becca, um, because they have like this, this peach undertone. So usually I don't use this plain as a concealer. I'll layer it. Um, but if I want things to be more sheer, I actually really like to layer product, which is funny. If, I, if I'm going for like a sheer look, I tend to use more products because I'm layering things so that I don't just have to go in really heavy with one thing. All right, now we're going to use, this is NARS. This is, let's use the shade Cream Brulee. So I am not brightening her under eye area. I'm using a concealer that's the same tone as her skin. That way I can just do a really light layer of it. So look up for me. 
So I'm just going to give her like the lightest of coverage. A little little bit and some people can skip under eye concealer if you've never tried that before I recommend it okay how for those of you live how's the sound we moved the microphone a little bit closer it should sound a little less distant let us know okay so what I'm doing my technique for this is I do want a little bit of coverage under the eyes but I want it to be very very sheer so what I'm doing go ahead and look up um, a lot of people have some pigment right here that needs covering a little bit here and on the inside so that's kind of where I'm focusing that's where I'll start but then I'm diffusing everything and I do bring it down a little bit just so the coverage is even if you were to only conceal heavily heavily this certain area it would cover up all the freckles there and it would just not look balanced so I do like to dust it down her face slightly and I'll dust it over the nose slightly and if you ever feel like you're getting too much coverage a good tip is to take a damp beauty sponge these ones are disposable it's just like a little wedge a little wedge so you get it wet and then you just lightly with nothing on it it's bare you just lightly go over what you did and it's going to absorb some of the product so it'll shear it out a little bit for you so if you're like, oh, I've covered too many of the, the freckles, you can remove some product. All right, so that is looking good. We're gonna do, so you can see on the sponge, it was clean and white before we started. It's now colored because it absorbed some of that product. So what I really like doing that because what it did is it really smoothed everything, but then in these areas where I don't need as much coverage, it's just gonna lift up some of that product but it's not gonna lift up all of it. You're not wiping it away, you're just lifting like the top layer, if that makes sense. So you're leaving some of the color deposited, but you're removing some of that coverage. So that's a good tip. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with some cream blush for Haley. This is my Cine palette that I love, I've used before. Um, I think we're gonna go in, I wanna do like a lighter color, but I do want it to have a slightly more cool undertone. So I think I'm gonna use this one right here and maybe mix it with a little bit of that, probably. So this, um, this is like a pro palette. You can buy it, I'll look for it online and I'll link it for you guys. Um, but it does, you can't buy these colors individually, unfortunately. I was walking by MAC the other day though and I saw that they had, um, they at one point had cream blushes, but it looks like they have a new line and it's either just new shades of cream blushes or they have re-come out with cream blushes, but those you can buy individually. So I need to go to the store some point later um, and swatch those and see how we feel. So I'm gonna use my finger for this. And I'm just gonna tap it on Haley's cheek. So cream blush is really fun because cream blush is kind of known for looking like skin. It doesn't add texture to the face and it is also more on the sheer side because you tap it out. So what's fun about that is we're adding color to this area of her face, but you're still gonna be able to see the freckles through the cream blush, which is fun. I like to do it like on the high apples of the face. It's a very pretty pinky tone. Okay, look forward. Pretty. So you can see how that gave her like a nice wash of color, but it um, you still see the freckles. All right, we are, we're gonna do some lips. I'm gonna check the comments. Hello, Kim Loy. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Melinda. She says you're a pretty girl. Oh, the sound is better. Thank you. Cynthia says you have such long, pretty lashes. I know we're all jealous now of Haley and her beautiful lashes. It's probably good you don't wear mascara. I feel like that will keep them healthier. Mm -hmm. You'll have good lashes for a long time in life, Haley. You don't wear mas mascara. is not bad for your lashes, but I do think anything, you know, it's like your skin. If you never, ever wear foundation, you'll probably have a little bit better skin than if you wear it every day. Um, Okay, good. Sounds good. Most people are saying it's good. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know. Um, she has the sweetest voice. Yes, she does. Love these tips. Thank you. Hi, Brittany. Sounds great. She looks pretty. Yes, she does. 
Okay, let's do, you know what? Let's take um, those same tones. So I'm gonna take the same colors in her cream blush, actually just what I mixed up, and I'm gonna put that on her lips. Sometimes this is too light. Usually I like, like a lighter cheek because our face is a lot lighter than our lips. But I think on Haley, this will be pretty. And then we'll throw some gloss over it. So I'm just doing, I want a very natural lip on Haley. I'm not doing liner. I'm not doing um, like a really defined lip. We're just doing the gloss. This is a really fun palette. I have a, um, like a stainless steel one that I use and this one's plastic and it's like a little egg crate so you can keep all your things separated. That's a fun one if you're a makeup artist. All right, Miss Haley. Um, let's check, see if there's any more questions and then we will flash your before and I'll show you. <laughs> okay, just reloading it, my thing kind of lagged. All right, let's see, let's add I actually like the way that's looking. Sometimes when I'm done, I'll go back in and work a little bit more on the eyes. I actually might add a little bit of highlighter on her inner corner. Um, sometimes I'll stand back and I'll add stuff under the eyes, but I, Haley's lashes are so long. Again, with the lashes, we're all obsessed, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I'll add more shadow underneath to add drama, but I like the way it's looking now. So we're just gonna add a highlighter. So we're gonna use the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. There is a shade in here called Forever Young, and it's a, a cool undertone shade. It almost has like a, a pinky violet undertone to me is what it looks like. So we're gonna use a little bit of that on Haley today, just on her cheeks. And this is a powder product. So we've only done creams up until now, but we are gonna do a little bit of highlighter, why not? I'm sure you know about highlighter. I feel like it's on every like Instagram makeup video. <laughs> Gotta use the highlighter. This one's very glittery. This is like a very glam highlight. But I'm gonna do this on the inner corner of her eye too. So I'm just gonna grab a little, a little brush. Okay, look uh, over this way. Good, perfect. Keep your head towards the camera and then with your eyes look this way. Good. Okay, now look the other way, perfect. And we'll do a pop of this on the lid. Okay, go ahead and close. So right on the center of her lid, I'm just gonna add more shine. Be careful with this when you're doing it after other products because it's, it's so glittery and the product is a little bit chunky, so you will get fallout with this if you're not careful. So I'm just pressing it on. Okay, go ahead and open. All right, let's, did we flash her before? Let's go ahead and flash her before and then I will show you. All right, you ready to see? There you go. What's oh, so pretty. So cute, Haley. Very natural. Still covered, so she, she has foundation on, she has like a medium to light coverage, but you still see those freckles. So cute, thanks for being my model. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned some tips. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.